Welcome to our coding corner. Today, we're tackling a tricky question that many JavaScript developers encounter. Our viewer is facing an issue with copying values from one dictionary to another. The code snippet provided is throwing a type error, specifically stating that copy.add is not a function. Let's dive into this problem and explore how we can effectively copy key value pairs from one dictionary to another in JavaScript. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the error in the provided code. The error message states that copy.add is not a function. This is because JavaScript objects do not have an add method. copy key value pairs from one dictionary to another, we can use the assignment operator. Let's modify the code to use bracket notation instead. Now let's see the complete corrected code. We will iterate over the original dictionary and assign each key value pair to the new dictionary. Finally, when we run this code, we should see that the copy dictionary now contains all the key value pairs from the original dict. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To copy values from one dictionary to another in JavaScript, you can use a simple for loop. First, define your original dictionary and an empty dictionary for the copy. Then, iterate over the keys of the original dictionary. For each key, assign its value to the corresponding key in the copy. Finally, you can log both dictionaries to see the copied values. This method is straightforward and effective. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To copy values from one dictionary to another in JavaScript, you can create a method that iterates through the original dictionary and adds each key value pair to the new dictionary. This method utilizes object.entries to get key value pairs and a for each loop to add them to the new dictionary. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.